Here we are again. This is day four of our Running Stronger series, all about how distance runners should be lifting so that they can become more powerful, faster, and injury resilient runners. Now, if you've been following along over the course of this week, day one was all about why you should be lifting and all the benefits that come from lifting weights. Day two, we talked about a bunch of strength training mistakes, training errors that we make in the weight room that stall our progress and that ensure we don't build as much power and running economy and speed into our training. And then finally, yesterday, we talked more about power and why the goal of any good strength training program for runners has to include power movements so that runners can build more force production into their stride. Today, I wanna to talk all about why lifting weights improves your running economy. Or in other words, your efficiency. You're gonna be able to run the same distance at the same pace with a lot less effort if you are a more economical runner. Now, many runners try to improve their running form and become more economical by actively trying to change their running form. And I wanna discourage you from doing that. The latest science, really tells us that the more runners try to tinker with their form, they actually lose efficiency and become less economical. Because running is a sport where you are practicing that stride pattern thousands of times, sometimes tens of thousands of times over the course of a run. And that is a neuromuscular habit that is ingrained in your brain. And it's not easily unlearned. You really do have to make more holistic changes in your training to affect changes in your running form. We can't just go out there and try to run with different form, try to run with a better forward lean or a higher cadence, all those things. Those are great goals, but we should work on them indirectly through our training itself. And that is exactly what we're gonna talk about in this video today, how weight training in the gym is one of the best ways to improve your running economy over time. Now, the beauty of lifting weights is that it teaches your central nervous system which muscle fibers to recruit and when. And it also teaches your central nervous system which muscle groups to recruit and when. So what you are doing is you are improving the coordination of an individual muscle and the coordination of bigger muscle groups so that when you are trying to run fast or when you are running for a long time, let's say during a marathon, your muscles know when and how to fire appropriately. That is gonna save you an incredible amount of energy over the course of a race or a workout or a long run so that you're gonna finish feeling better, you're gonna finish probably being able to run a little bit faster, and you're gonna finish just feeling so much better than you would have because your injury risk is a lot lower. Your form is more efficient, so there's less wasted movement patterns, there's fewer inefficient movement patterns, and you're gonna be less sore and just feel great at the end of your runs. And in addition to all that coordination, you are teaching your muscle fibers to produce force quickly. That is power. Now, in yesterday's video, I gave a demonstration of 2017 Mountain Runner of the Year, Addie Bracey, performing a power clean from our high performance lifting program. And we build in higher levels of running economy into our weightlifting by doing a couple things. Number one, we are going to use power movements. This type of exercise is fantastic at teaching your brain and body to work together to recruit more muscle fibers, to recruit the right muscle fibers, and to do so even quicker than you were used to be able to previously. And the result is that you improve your running form without even really thinking about it. You improve your form indirectly so that you are building the strength to actually run with more efficient and economical form. Now, this is the neuromuscular component of weightlifting. And it's what really helps you become more powerful. It's what help, it helps improve your running form. And unfortunately, you don't really get this stimulus if you are doing body weight exercises. Sure, they are fantastic for injury prevention, but those body weight exercises don't really teach you how to produce force quickly, and they don't necessarily increase the brain's ability to communicate with your muscles. So those neural pathways just don't get developed as robustly as they do when you're lifting heavy weight. So 
To get these benefits, to build power, to improve your running economy, we have to move away from bodyweight exercises. We have to graduate from bodyweight exercises to a healthy mix of both bodyweight and heavier lifts in the gym. So if you wanna build power and work on your running economy, let's get the fundamental lifts down in the gym. Let's do them with heavy weight sometimes, and let's build in the right amount of power exercises so that you can take all that strength that you have been working on and express it as power. If you want more information about strength training for runners, sign up for our free e-course all about strength training for endurance athletes at strengthrunning.com strength. It'll help you become a more powerful, faster, injury resilient runner. And I think that's what we all want.